know we, we had planned to talk about this, but isn't it amazing that uh, God would take someone from the island? He always used this folk, the uncommon folk. Absolutely. And begin to change their lives and be able to do something ma magnificent, miraculous mm -hmm. in their lives. And, and I'm grateful for that. Somebody might be watching right now, and you, your life right now might be seeming like you're in the island. But listen, don't give up. They used to say it's not over to the fat lady sing, but I want to tell you it's not over till God says it's over. And God really want to do something in your life. Uh, Apostle, why don't you just encourage folk? You deal with folk like that all day, every day. They're in the heart of Nashville, right there at the New Beginning Church. Mm -hmm. And you've seen lives transformed. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just look into that camera and encourage some man? I mean, I get many times people see me walking in Walmart, walking in, the, in the restaurants or walking the streets uh, and saying, I've seen the program. But guess what? Why don't you encourage them? Because they're out there watching. I know Absolutely. they are. And encourage them that God wants to do something with their life. Absolutely. What we're experiencing now, especially in, in the kingdom of God and uh, uh, throughout communities across Nashville, Tennessee, and, and across the country, uh, we're, we're seeing a, uh, a, a, con, a confluence of people who, uh, who have been outside of the church for so long. Uh, people who refuse to come inside the house because of the misrepresentation of Christ by people who are supposed to present Christ. And so what we're doing, the Lord has transitioned us. Um, though I was a former drug addict and drug dealer, uh, alcoholic. Uh, you name it, I've probably been that. But God used all of those experiences in my life to reach out and touch you, my brother, you, my sister. Listen, your life may be in a, have ended up in an attic, but that's exactly where God wants you to be. Why? Because in the midst of your circumstance, in the midst of your problem, in the midst of your dilemma, he'll turn that situation around. I'm reminded of how Moses was 40 years, 40 years in the desert for, before, before he saw the burning bush. And when he turned aside to see the sight, then God called him out of the burning bush. God is waiting for you. He's waiting for you to turn aside. Turn aside from the things that you've been accustomed to. Turn aside and see what he's, what he's trying to speak to you. And when you turn aside to see what he's doing in your life, that's when he'll begin to speak to you. Mm. Don't stop. Oh, man. Don't stop. Man. Well, listen, while you're stopping, I just really want to share. Let me insert this. You may be bent. And God wants to straighten you up. Yes, he does. Listen, you may be in the church. You still may be bent. God wants to straighten you up. And God gets glory. By straightening you up. Mm -hmm. So let go and let God. Apostle, what, what, what else is going on? How has God been speaking to you? And we can keep on flowing. Man, I area. tell you, you what, what, what he's really been dealing with, especially dealing in that area, dealing with the unchurched. Right. Um, the Lord took me over to the uh, book of 2 Kings in the fourth chapter. And uh, the story is talking about a widow woman who lost her husband. And her husband was one of the sons of the prophets. And she had a request before Elisha. Mm -hmm. And Elisha asked her one question. Mm -hmm. He said, what do you have in your house? Mm -hmm. She said, listen, Elisha, the man is coming to take my kids. Uh, we, you know, the, the creditors are coming to, and put him in slavery. I don't have the money to pay them. Uh, what, what am I for? He said, what do you have in your house? She said, mm -hmm. well, listen, don't have much, but all I've got yeah. is this little flask of oil. He said, well, that's good. He said, now tell your sons to go out and get all the empty vessels. Go to every neighbor, everywhere that you can go, and go get the empty vessels. When you get the empty vessels, bring them into the house. But don't just bring them in the house. When you get them in the house, shut the door behind you. And when you shut the door behind you, begin to pour out. What, you, what am I saying? Right now, there are a lot of people who uh, are unchurched, but who are seeking the more of God. And it is up to us who God has set aside and who, has, who he has anointed to say, listen, he's asking you, what do you have in your house? What do you have in your house? Here's what I need you to do. Because we've been shirking our responsibility as leaders. Right. We've been shirking. Listen, it doesn't take any stretch of the imagination to church a church person. Mm -hmm. right. But it does take some pulling on your anointing right. and your and your spiritual resources right. to 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 uh, to draw someone who has who has otherwise said I'm not, I'm not look I don't have I don't want to have anything to do with no right. preachers right. no teachers or none of that right. you know what I'm saying so it takes right. something so what's he saying he said listen those of you what do you have in your house all I got is my anointing mm -hmm. when you come to New Beginning all I have all we have the leaders at New Beginning all we have is our anointing right. and the Lord is commissioning us go get every empty vessel you can find. What do you 
me, empty vessel. Go get everybody who who has been ostracized. Yeah, huh? yeah. Who's been put on the back yeah, burner. Yeah. Get every man, yeah. woman, boy, or girl who has who, who's ever had a dash dream. Yeah. Who has lost hope. Yeah. Who have given up. Yeah. Who's yeah. still out there and don't know any way out. Yeah. Bring all the empty vessels into the house. Watch yeah. this. Yeah. And close the door. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because this is not a spectator sport. Mm. This is not a spectator sport. I don't need a bunch of church folks watching the miracle of God getting ready to do some things in somebody's right, life. Right, I right. need some people who are 100% participants. Right. This right. is a participatory right. event. Right. And I need That's to right. close the door on the naysayers, right. the hymners, and the horrors, the right. ones who don't like the people coming in with the short pants and the Timberlands on. Right. I need you to get out of the way. Right. Because God is about to work a miracle. What do you have? Mm -hmm. All I got is my anointing. Well, start pouring. And when you begin to pour out your anointing into those empty vessels, right. watch this, because right. an empty vessel has no value. Yeah. It has no value right. Right. until until something of, of, of value right. gets poured right. into it. Right. Right. Uh, right. Otherwise, it's just a, it's just a vessel. Right. Right. Uh, right. A clay pot has no value mm -hmm. until you pour something of value in. Right. Right. What is the oil? The oil is the anointing oil. Right. Right. Where does it get its value from? It gets its value from the pressing. Right. Uh, right. And many of the leaders, many of you leaders, listen, people of God, many of you leaders who are out there, God has taken you through a pressing. And this pressing is not for you. That's right. That's it's right. not for you. Right, right. Watch this. The right. anointing oil that the woman had, it wasn't for her. Right. It was for her sons. Right, right. That, that they would not be taken into captivity. Right, right. It wasn't for her. Right. Right. Huh? right. Use your anointing, not for you. Mm. Listen, mm. I don't care how big your church is. Babe, you may have the mega church. Oh, or the high most high God. You may have the biggest edifice. If you ever want to see, but listen to what I'm telling you. At the end of the day, if you have not poured your anointing into any empty vessel, you have that's missed right. it. That's you have right. totally that's missed right. it. That's right. That's huh? right. That's and these people are there waiting. It was my anointing, my gifting, my right. calling. Right. It is not for me. Right. Ephesians. Right. The fourth chapter says it like this. He said, listen, the, he, and he set some first mm -hmm. apostles, prophets, mm -hmm. evangelists, pastors, teachers. Why? Wow. Mm -hmm. For the equipment of the saints right. and for the work of ministry.